Hi, my name is Rhonda and I attend the 1045 service. And I have the privilege today of bringing you day five of our Advent devotions. So let's look at Luke 1, 26 to 27. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Before moving to the country in 2002, I was a midwife at Nepean Hospital, mostly in the antenatal ward, so plenty of time to talk to young girls. And when a young teenage girl would come in to give birth, I'd feel sad that their life had taken this turn so early on. But if she had insisted and kept insisting that she was a virgin, well, I think I might have called the mental health team. Well, in today's reading, we are presented with the same situation. So let's just have a look and see what this is all about. First, have you ever thought what a cool job Gabriel got? He got to tell Elizabeth, who was a relative of Mary's, that she was going to have a baby after years of being infertile. Then, a mere six months later, he gets to go to Mary and tell her that she was going to have a child, the Son of God. Wow, what a cool job. So then who is Mary? Well, she's an ordinary Jewish girl who was engaged to a man named Joseph, who, as we read, was from the house of David. A quick aside, in those days, culturally, being engaged was the same as being married or what they call betrothed, which meant that if the, the engagement was to break down, it would be a legal matter they'd have to go to court to be actually divorced. So it was no mere thing. So there's Mary going about her normal life. I imagine as a girl in the family, she's helping her mother probably with siblings and doing housework and attending synagogue with her family and hanging out with her friends and also preparing for her marriage. Then along comes an angel and tells her she's going to have a baby. She, who is a virgin, but this is, to fill, this is to fulfill prophecy. Isaiah 7, 14 says, Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. See, the virgin will conceive, have a son, and name him Emmanuel. Mary was from a small town called Nazareth in Galilee. A town, according to David Mathis from DesiringGod.org, was an uncelebrated, forgotten town off the beaten path even for Galilee. He goes on to say that when Nathaniel queried a friend about Jesus in John 1, 46, he expressed the common Jewish sentiment in the first century. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? So we see then that Mary was engaged to Joseph and verse 27 tells us that he was of the house of David, once again fulfilling prophecy. Jeremiah 23, 5 to 6. Look, the days are coming. This is the Lord's declaration when I will raise up a righteous branch for David. He will reign wisely as king and administer justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell securely. This is the name he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Mary was chosen by God to birth the son of God not because she was anything special. She wasn't a princess or from a wealthy or influential family. She was an ordinary Jewish girl from an in insignificant town who responded to God's invitation with a yes and carried it through to completion. We too are ordinary people that God has given the task of witnessing to his indescribable sacrificial love. Let us all respond with a yes this Christmas and throughout our lives by witnessing to those God has put into our everyday lives. Let us pray our Advent prayer together. Everlasting Father, you who were invisible became visible. God became man. Eternity entered time. In our darkness and wandering, Jesus came and brought hope. With grateful hearts, we praise you and turn again to you, our source of joy and life. Restore us, renew us, 
Fill us with your hope as our futures are secure in you. In the name of your Son and by your Spirit. Amen.